Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys things that I have been doing lately to help target my hair growth. So there are some things that are a little bit different. I know like the number one question I feel like that has that I've gotten since I've cut my hair, you guys are asking me what are my hair growth goals now? Do I want to grow my hair back to my butt? Do I want to keep it at the length it's at now? So I mean my shrinkage isn't super super real um, right now my hair is right here so it's still pretty long but for me right now my goal for my hair is just to get it to be healthy I just love how thick it looks now pretty much being all one length I think I will kind of maybe grow it a few inches out I just can't really see myself growing my hair long like that again just it's just so much easier with my hair shorter like it's I don't think I can go back after experiencing this, to be honest. So, um, a lot of you guys have already commented, like, girl, your hair is starting to grow out already. And so, I want to share with you guys things that I'm doing differently for my hair growth this time around. So, if you would like to see it, continue to keep watching. Okay, so this time around, I have been really focusing on my scalp care because before with having longer hair, I really was like focusing mostly on my ends because my ends needed the TLC. This time around, since the ends are fresh, what I have been using, I'm sure you guys, if you are new here, you might not be familiar with this, but I talked about this product a long time ago and... I'm definitely incorporating it back into my routine as of lately and I am using a scalp massaging brush this one actually is electric it vibrates so it really stimulates your scalp the bristles on here are very very soft they're rounded so they won't like scratch your scalp but it's great for exfoliating your scalp and also with hair growth helps to stimulate your hair growth so what I do in the shower is I have been massaging my scalp with this right here another thing that i have been doing in the shower and only if you feel comfortable doing this you don't have to do in the shower but i haven't actually been flipping my head upside down and using my scalp massager so really creating that blood flow just be careful when you do that don't fall and slip and some and stuff like that but i've been using this um but like more frequently pretty much every single time i wash my hair i'm using this um, before i would use it here and there but now it's been something that i'm doing all the time so what I'm doing now is before I shampoo, I will do a scalp oil mas massage. And then after I wash my hair, I shampoo it, I put some sort of treatment on my scalp. Some things that I have been using, this is a repurchase. This is the Daily Moisture Scalp Cream from Head & Shoulders. It has zinc in it, which is the anti-dandruff, but it also helps if you have an itchy scalp, which I do. And I get dandruff so I really like using this but if my scalp is behaving and I don't have dandruff I've been using these miracle drops um, and I really like this because the ingredients in this one let me read them to you so the main ingredient in here is tea tree oil and then they have peppermint oil there's other ingredients in here but those are just so soothing to the scalp especially if you've ever put tea tree oil on your scalp it is heavenly so i have been using these drops a lot lately um, i actually like it because these scalp these drops are super super watery which is really good because i kind of will just put them on the crown of my head it'll drip down my scalp and then i just go in with my hands and massage another one this is supposed to be targeted exactly for hair growth this is the biotin hair serum it has biotin in it i'm not exactly sure 100 percent if putting biotin on your scalp can help with hair growth but whatever i'm gonna try it i know if you take biotin if you have a deficiency and you take biotin it will help your hair grow it's a product it's an ingredient that's in a lot of like the hair skin and nail and gummies and stuff like that but I'm using it. I like it. It smells good too. This one feels really good on the scalp. This one's a little bit more of like a jellier consistency. So I really like to apply this as well. Along with my hot oil treatments, if you guys don't know, I have a video on that as well. I will leave a link up at the top for you guys if you want to check it out. But that works really well for my scalp too. And it just makes my hair feel so, so, so soft. So that's what I've been doing with my scalp. Now next for like the rest of my hair, 
one thing that I've noticed, I've talked about this too in my um, pros and cons of having long curly hair. I've been having to wash my hair more often. What I kind of feel is just because my hair, since it's shorter, I don't have the weight to weigh down my hair. So if my hair starts to get frizzy, it's just super obvious now. If my hair got dried out from sleeping without my bonnet, it's super obvious now and I have to wash my hair. So I do find that I am washing my hair more often. So I'm making sure that I'm deep conditioning often and I'm making sure that every time I style my hair, I'm saturating it with product. I'm making sure that my hair is really hydrated now. Where before, when I had longer hair, honestly, I could just throw it up. It was easier. It just wasn't a big deal. But now I have to just make sure that my hair is hydrated. So I think that my hair is just a little bit more moisturized now and it's happier. I feel like it's curlier now, especially that it's shorter. It's for sure curlier, but I think it's just getting more TLC with it being shorter. And I know that's not going to work for everybody, but it's working for me, especially with my oil treatments. I'm making sure that I'm not drying out my hair now that I have to wash it more often. So now last but not least, but I'm just giving a warning. So if you want to click off now, you can, because a lot of people have problems with me self-promoting. But to be honest, this is my business. This is what I've been doing lately. If you don't want to see somebody win, then go ahead and click off. But if you would like to see what I'm talking about, I'm sure you guys have heard of these brushes before. I am beginning to sell them on my website. As of right now with the virus, my site is just closed only because Assist does not want to be going to the post office. It's just a little too crazy outside right now so I'm hoping to be able to launch my store again um, in a week or two maybe now I know this is not exclusive to just my store you can find this on other websites but for me this is something that I've been using for a while and I am in love with it so this is my detangling brush and yes I sell it on my website as well but this is a detangling brush. So if you guys have never tried this one, this is not, no shade, but this is not like the Felicia Leatherwood one. Everybody, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. This one's way more flexible than this one, than that one. So it's super, 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 super flexible. Super flexible. The bristles are really long, so great for textured hair. Super long. I love this curve. It helps with um, getting the my scalp, getting into my scalp but not scratching my scalp. It helps to really just, you can like get all the way around your head, making sure you get all the knots out of your roots with this like curved design. I just really love this brush so much and it is a lot easier to clean. I plan on doing a pros and cons with the flexi brush because you guys know I rave about the flexi brush. So if you would like to see that video, please give this video a thumbs up for me and comment down below. I can definitely do that for you because ever since I've been showing this on my Instagram account, me detangling my hair with this, I have been getting so many questions like, is this better than the flexi brush? Can you let us know? So I can definitely do that for you guys if you would like, but I have been using this with my hair. It is a dream to detangle my hair. I mean, now that it's shorter, it's easier to detangle anyways, but it's so important that you are detangling your hair correctly. If you're ripping through your hair, ripping through your knots, you are damaging your hair, you're breaking your hair. Heat damage isn't the only type of damage you can get. Chemical damage isn't the only kind of damage you can get. So you need to be making sure you're taking care of those ends. So I make sure to be detangling from the ends, working my way all the way up to my roots, and then I brush through all of my hair. So this has been a dream to detangle my hair with, and I love it so much. So um, this is also what's been new in my curly hair routine. As of lately those are the things that I have been doing differently with my hair and my hair growth just because my hair is different now my hair needs are different now so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out the description box I always leave all the information there and I'll check you guys out in my next video